If you've ever heard of the Driftless Region, then there's a good chance you know about French Creek. Tucked way back between two massive hills here in the Iowa Driftless sits a massive piece of public land with French Creek running right through. Not only are we going after the premier brown trout this state has to offer, but we're going after a piece of history. If you've ever caught a brown trout here in the Iowa Driftless, there is a almost 100% chance its genetics run all the way from this stream itself. But we'll get into that a little bit later. For now, let's get after some fish. Good morning from French Creek. This is our first little brown trout. And not only our first, but a very special piece of Iowa trout history. We're gonna get this guy back real quick and yeah, see if we can't get some more. That guy came off of our nymphing rig. I'm using the Ghost Tech strike indicators to hold up my double nymph rig. Just two flies, <laughs> Iowa guys, don't worry. But scuds are a main source of food here, so I've got a pink squirrel, which is a driftless killer, and then just under that, another really subtle scud-like pattern. Got some split shot on it, and we actually got that guy on the pink squirrel, so hopefully we can get on some more, man. That was so stinking cool. There we go. That's a good fish. No! That so sucks, y'all. Oh, no. Rats. Oh, no way. That wasn't supposed to happen, y'all. Well? I don't even think you guys caught any of that. I just was uh, getting my line out and he freaking smacked it. <laughs> That's so silly. There we go, we got him on the bottom fly that time. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's so strange. Usually in spring creeks like this, they spook super easy. But I think with all this rain we're having, I'm having a little bit a little bit of extra leeway. But yeah, we'll give you Ooh. Never mind, he's gone. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, I guess we keep at it. Baby, there we go, finally. You've got to get a look at this guy. Wow, that adipose fin, are you kidding me? Y'all, that is such a nice little brown trout, wow. <laughs> Very nice, man. French Creek brown trout, baby, right there. I'll give you one last look at him. Good close up. Oh man, that's so sick. And his little freaking adipose is fired up, baby. Yowza. Let's get him back, get some more. Oh, 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 oh. A little attitude on that one, golly. Whew. I hope this rain kind of gives way soon. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting a little wet up top. I'm glad I put on some extra layers, man. I can't tell if it's freaking fall or summer, man. Goodness, it? fall's coming though. Gosh. Oh, rats! Oh no, that's big rats. Fominently. All right, one break off and one retie later, we are back in the game. Oh man, I almost did it again. All righty. guy not exactly the brood stock we're looking for but that is the next generation of trout here in Iowa that is a beauty look at him oh man you gotta love the little guys man that is so awesome that is a 
wild as the day is long little brown trout and we're gonna get them on back. I cannot believe it, but the sun has finally decided to come out after a rainy, cruddy, kind of cold morning. Really felt like fall, oh my gosh. We are finally seeing a little bit of summer, man. Good knit. But I'm gonna take this opportunity right now to kind of talk about the wild brown trout here at French Creek. And we're gonna start the story way, way back. Because for those of you who don't know, brown trout, they aren't native to the Driftless. They aren't really even native to the United States. They've become naturalized over time as bucket biology has kind of moved its way all across the nation. But one of its stops was here in Iowa. And French Creek was the first place where they really got a, ni a nice natural hold and they really started to reproduce and you know put up some good numbers of fish. And that's why the Iowa DNR uses French Creek every single year. They come through and they shock this entire stream and they grab the biggest, meanest, baddest brown trout that are here and they use them for the brood stock. And so they, they strip the eggs and the milt and they actually use those to repopulate all the other streams here and restock other streams here in the Driftless, the Iowa Driftless that is. So whenever you're coming to a little place like this, check it out, Google it. I mean, there's a lot of cool history with a lot of these streams, but this one in particular, this is ground zero for all the brown trout here in the Iowa Driftless, which is really neat. So enough mumbling. No more history lessons. Let's get the fishing, y'all. Golly. That's so cheeky. <laughs> this this one for sure goes out to my dad because this is exactly the kind of hole he likes to fish. Just deep, sitting there, just kind of picking apart, picking apart lanes. And I had a couple bites, but he was the first one to take her, take her and go, man. Look at that little guy. Focusing, ba-bam. Beauty of a little brown out of that deep stuff. Oh my gosh, do you see the spots on that guy? That's ridiculous. Finally managed to get one out of there. I've probably spooked a million by now, but there he is. Beautiful little fish. Just colored up, man. Golly. There we go. Look at him. Just a little dimey dime piece, the next generation. Let him go, see him grow. Bye-bye, bud. <laughs> cool, let's keep on moving up. Our morning bite has seen a massive nosedive as that summer sun has gone up. Ooh, these fish are getting spooky. So I think that's my calling card to get the heck out of Dodge, and maybe find a plan B. But before I do, I just kind of want to go give a little brief bio of French Creek itself. You know, this is an awesome, awesome spring creek here in the Iowa Driftless, and it's a two-tier fishery. So way up in the headwaters where it's really, really tight, there's a wild population of brook trout, which is so neat. But the further downstream you move, oh boy, that becomes brown trout turf. And that's what we fished today. And I really do feel lucky getting to hold each one of those fish, because man, they're tough. And they're a little piece of history, which is even cooler. And Oh man, I appreciate you guys for sticking around and listening to me geek on about this little history kind of thing about, but I think it just adds an extra element to your adventure and kind of gives it a little bit more satisfaction, so. As always guys, thank you so freaking much for sticking around and watching my silly adventures. And Like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't subbed yet, hop on man. This is the kind of stuff you know you can expect and this little community is growing so fast and it's really cool to see. So whenever you're coming to French Creek, make sure to keep those feet in the water. And until next time, tight lines.